that's lovely. That is lovely. Not too high. should fit. Look at that. Hi, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia, and we're down below in this cruising sailboat that we're building. And now that I've got the foam, the new foam in, cut to size, it's very comfy to sit here in the, in the saloon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and as you may notice, Hazel's here. Hello. Um, Way back in mid-June, we sailed Hazel's boat through the Kiel Canal from the German North Sea coast through to the Baltic Sea, and then Hazel went off sailing after that. You've been back once or twice for a few days here mm, and there, haven't yeah, you? But you've yeah. been fairly busy since then, really, mid-June. Yeah, you know, yeah, now. I came back to get my second vaccine That's shot. right, yeah. One or two um, bits and bobs, weren't there? Yeah. And so anyhow, here we are, end of November now, basically. And uh, so you set off from the Baltic coast single-handed, huh? Yeah, I did. I did yeah. yeah, what did you do? I uh, just 
Sailed around. <laughs> Sailed around. Well. Uh, okay, so uh, Denmark is basically like the mainland and then the two big islands. So I sailed around the, well, once around the first big island, which is called Finn. Mm-hmm. And then the next big island, which is called Zealand. Zealand, Zealand in English, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then after that, well, I came home in between time, so I stopped. For your vaccine. Yeah, you I stopped at Fiemann. Mm-hmm, in Germany. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then I went back to Denmark. Uh, with uh, my sister and a friend, they were with me then for two weeks or one week, mm-hmm. uh, and then I carried on to Sweden up to Gotland. Good, no, Gothenburg. Gothenburg. Gothenburg, Sweden. Yeah. Uh, and then I came back home. Yeah. Okay. And that was when? What time did you get back to Germany at the end of all that? Uh, start of October. Start of October. Yeah, so it was July, October. August, September. And a bit of June, of course, yeah. Uh, so June, July, August, September, and a bit of so basically four months, yeah, yeah? yeah roughly, that's give or take. Fair to say. Yeah. All right. Really good. And how was it single-handed? It was fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, my boat isn't the trickiest thing ever. Uh, well, you've got two sails. Yeah. Yeah. Two masts. Yeah. But like it's junk rig, so it's mm-hmm. relatively easy. I can do most things from the cockpit. So. I'm currently sailing out of this fjord off the west coast, on the west coast of Lolland. Um, pretty early start this morning because I have a long trip ahead of me. Um, I want to, well, try. I'm pretty sure I will succeed actually. I'm going to get to the German coast today. It's just a question of uh, how far along I will get there. Really, the goal. The ultimate goal is Neustadt or Lübeck, um, but that's 80 miles from here. Um, which, well, you do four knots average, which is, well, pretty generous sometimes. Um, that's going to take about 20 hours. Um, so, a pretty long day. I wanted to set off at four o'clock this morning, but uh, it was still too dark. Um, I couldn't see anything, so I decided to wait a little bit. Set off at quarter to five, which is exactly one hour before sunrise. Um, and, well, I'm glad that I set off later, because even at quarter to five, the start was still quite tricky, like finding all the boys and things now. You can see them very well, but um, it's like six now, I think. Uh, yeah, just getting out of this fjord. And then we will head south. Should be quite interesting. Um, I do look forward to this day, and even if I don't make it all the way to Neustadt, oh, one second, I'll just turn you around. Even if I don't make it all the way to Neustadt or Lübeck, I think it's going to be a good day. I've got a couple of places picked out where I could go. Yeah, some good, some bad days, of course. Yeah. Sometimes the wind wasn't there, sometimes there was too much wind. Mm-hmm. Um, I went through a thunderstorm once, which was kind of scary. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not a, not a good feeling, is it, being no, at sea with a thunder, yeah. thunderstorm around Yeah, the around highest it. thing around. Yeah, so it, even though it's very rare for a boat to get struck. It's, um, yeah. As you say, yeah, the highest thing around is a bit disconcerting, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I enjoyed it very much. Okay. Well, you said you you, know, you finished that in, well, it was towards the middle of October, in fact, wasn't it? And then here we are now, end of November, almost. Yeah. So what have you been doing since then, then? <laughs> I went to England for three weeks. Uh-huh. Uh, so my sister lives there. Uh-huh. Um, so I visited her and general relatives. Um but <laughs> and, and I went on a sailing course as well. Oh, right. Yeah. So a sailing course, you had to learn to sail? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the coastal skipper. Oh, so right. I'd done my theory like a year ago. Last and, uh, winter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I just did the practical course. So the RYA coastal skipper mm-hmm. has two parts. There's a theory part yeah. and a practical part, and yes. you do them separately. Yeah. So how did you, the theory you did online, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, that was very difficult, I thought. At mm. least I'm not like the most 
dedicated per- I don't know. <laughs> Study. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was very hard for me. But the practical was a lot of fun. Yeah. And did some good trips. Yeah. And you started, you served in the Solent. Yeah. But you yeah. didn't stay only in the Solent. No, did you? no. We went all the way to Pool and then we went around the bottom of the Isle of Wight, which was quite fun. Channel side mm. of the Isle of Wight. Yeah. 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 And passed it, obviously? Yes. So now you've got your RYA Coastal Skipper license. Yes, I do. Yeah. And I, I'm right in saying I think that the theory for the Coastal Skipper is the same theory for the next one, which is Yacht offshore, Master, isn't it? No, Yacht Master Coastal. Yacht yeah. Master Coastal. So Same thing. So yeah. you only have to do another practical course to get the Yacht Master Coastal. I believe so, yes. <laughs> I believe so, yeah. yeah. We believe no, so. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um... And I guess while you're here, there's one more thing to mention, isn't there? Yes. You, uh, yeah, is. go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, I released a second EP uh, a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Actually. Yeah. Music um, EP. How many yes. tracks? Six tracks. Six Although tracks. I like the first and the last one are a bit shorter. So. Mm-hmm. Sort of in the intro and outro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's out. What's it called? Stay a Little Longer. By Hazel Brown. Yes, that's me. And where can people find it? Uh, anywhere, really. Spotify, uh, iTunes, Amazon Music. All uh, good digital sources. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Cool. Alrighty, let's get on. So I'm here in the engine room. It's probably going to sound a bit hollow. But there's a couple of things going on in here. In fact, there's a few things, quite a few things to do in here. One, you may remember from a while back uh, that this engine, if I get my leg out of the way and try to show you this, that this engine on the aft end here, this plate here where the sail drive mounts with the big hole in the back there, that is supposed to be electrically insulated from the main, everything that's forward of it, basically speaking. And if you look carefully, you'll see it's got some very thin plastic washers in there, which is the way the insulation is achieved. And there's insulation where the, where the splined shaft goes in to join the crankshaft of the engine. Um, and as you may well remember, I told you a while back, I'd noticed that we didn't actually have an insulated connection. There was there was an electrical connection between these two sections, between this plate here and the engine block, which I say is not supposed to be for the sake of the aluminium cell drive leg and corrosion and whatever. So it was time to attack it. I've been thinking about it for a long time and I, I woke up the other morning with a clear idea in my head. That was to, to remove the bolts that bolt that plate on one at a time and measure the insulation, measure the continuity. Because, as I say, these bolts all have insulating washers on them and then there's this insulating gasket between the two and clearly one of those things is is not working properly. So I thought by removing the bolts one at a time, I might find the culprit and if not, then it would be the, the actual whole gasket that was the problem. As you might remember, some time ago, it transpired that we had continuity between the bell housing and the engine, which we're not supposed to have. And we still have no resistance there. Um, so what I'm doing is dropping out the bolts one at a time 
if we see these bolts, they have a little thin insulating washer on them. And I'm assuming that one of those isn't working properly. If not, it's this insulating gasket that's between the two. I'm going to drop the bolts out one at a time and see if continuity disappears. Uh, and if that's the case, then we'll know it's which washer is at fault. Um, but as yet... Oh! Oh! I've got it, I think, haven't I? No continuity. Oh! Oh, that is interesting. So that one, ah, it's got a little bit of damage there. I wonder if, yeah. That could be the issue, couldn't it? Let's put this one back in and see what happens. If that's the case, it is a very, very easy repair. Let's put one back in. Try our luck. No continuity down there. We have continuity. This is looking very hopeful. Pop that one back in. It was from there. Yeah, it was from there. Okay. Tighten that up. And see what is going on. Um, let's see what we've got. There we go. You might even see that, won't you? And here we have no continuity. Look at that. Down there on the other strap. Nothing. So, we found the problem. That little thing. Well, that was not a major issue, was it? What's going on here? Something on the there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, let's pop this one back in and see what happens. So far, so good. Can I stand it back up now? We can. Just put it a bit further. So far, so good. Tighten it up, see what happens. Nothing yet, look. That solved the problem. Holy mackerel, that was easy. Okay.
Well, as you see, just fitting some catches to stop doors flying open in the seaway. One little bit of trim that was missing. Just sort of take the sharp corner off of that corner. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Always good to hear from you. Um, massive thank you to our patrons and supporters on PayPal. If you'd like to support the project, uh, link coming up at the end. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.